Hi, everybody, and thank you so much for joining us here at Twist Gaming. We are streaming to you live, courtesy of the fine folks in the PAX Media Room. We're so excited to have the ability to be streaming. And I am here with my good buddy, Ross, from USA Alley, the op. I made sure to do yeah, it correctly. It, you yeah, it. You're, yeah. Good, you're good. Um, and Ross, you've brought me some cool games. We yes. were We were just singing songs. We were singing songs. It was a duck blur, right? And so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I brought some Disney things here with us, and so we've had a really, really fun year at the Op. We've had a really fun year at the Twist Gaming Studios getting to play all of the cool games that you have been sending us. Oh, it's been great. I don't know, we're going to keep doing it soon. Oh, it's, so exciting. Yeah, there were a lot of fun games this year. Like, I think uh, Batman, you guys did that. Yes, with Talisman. Mm -hmm. That was fantastic. And uh, to just caveat a bit, when we had played it, we did the spotlight session, we had made a recommendation about the game and then came to find out that the designer had watched the show and was going to be making some changes to the game based on that recommendation. And that. that was such a cool feeling. That's I absolutely great. loved that. But yeah, Batman was fun. We did um, Harry Harry Potter. Yep. Yeah, Death is right. Yes. Which is super good. I didn't die. That's good. That was good. That's good. <laughs> I put that on Tuesday before we we came for the thing, and we, we totally died the, in the first like 20 minutes because we had two uh, Death Eaters that attacked the same location. It's not easy. No, it's rough. It's rough. And then we were able to figure it out the next time, so it, it was pretty good. We 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 busted that right again. And it was going into it. It was it was good. It's a very fun game. It's very fun. And then uh, here we are now looking at fun stuff for this. Yes. So we've got a couple cool games for Disney. Uh, our first one we've got here is a Munchkin Disney DuckTales. <laughs> yeah. So this one, it plays on the classic DuckTales. So you're playing through with uh, Huey, Louie, Dewey. Is there not a classic DuckTales? Well, there's the new DuckTales. Oh. So there's a new DuckTales cartoon. You should watch it. It's great. It's got David Tennant as... Uh, yes! I did know this. I did know this. Okay. So this plays on the classic stuff, which is great. So we've taken all the cool characters uh, and put them into Munchkin. Okay. So you can be a woodchuck, a uh, ranger, and you can be an adventurer, and it's all kinds of fun stuff. So you can play as Scrooge and Webby and Launchpad and so on, and you can get <gasps> items and do a lot of great things. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think I didn't open up... The all the way, but we've got some really cool uh, things you can do in there. So it's got, it's got all the characters, and you can be a treasure hunter, and all kinds of fun bonus. That's so, so cool. If you love DuckTales and Munchkin, this game is great. Uh, we've had a lot of fun playing it in-house, and so it's out now. Any sort of small changes to how Munchkin is played based off of the IP? or so every Munchkin has a little bit of a different flavor to it, right? It's yeah. like our Harry Potter one. It's got like a Marauder's Map kind of feel to it. And our Marvel ones are getting the Infinity Gem. And our uh, not, not Before Christmas one, it's some cool stuff. So in this one, uh, it's got a little bit where your uh, money's a cool thing you can do some stuff with. Okay. And then it's played with the other abilities as well. So I don't want to spell too much. Okay. It's, uh, it's definitely, if you like DuckTales and Munchkin, it is a good... Just jam into that. Sounds good. Yeah, you can uh, solve mysteries and rewrite history. Yeah, so a bunch of details out down in stores. It's super cool. You can pick it up and uh, rock out. Very, very cool. It's so exciting to see like the shows from my childhood. The, these IPs come back now. Oh yeah. I haven't thought of DuckTales in so long or like Chippendales Rescue Rangers. Now I'm going to have oh, other yeah, songs yeah. stuck well, in my head. And that's not a bad thing. But the cool thing is like with Disney, those things like that, and you can watch yeah. it again and just, like I hadn't watched it in a while. And I'm like, oh, we, we got to come right out. Disney what's on. I threw a couple on and I'm like, man, this is definitely. You mentioned Pat and I was like, I have not heard that character. I immediately can picture him. Oh, it's yeah. like I haven't thought of him here. Right? Yes. Yeah, right? Oh, I'm man. so excited. It's it's all good stuff. And it, it, it's, it's so, yeah, we've got a whole, it, it's good. Is there other game <laughs> here we've got. Is a Geek Out Disney. Yes. So it's designed by Elisa Teague. Yes. She's fantastic. And so yes. um, in this game, it puts you against other players to test all your Disney knowledge. Perfect. Right. And so you've got all these different uh, cards and boards that are out there. We can open it up. And so in this game, you have a dice that you roll, and depending on whose turn it is, uh, they read the card out to you. So on the board, it's got a one through five. And a negative one, too. Oh, that board is so very much so Disney TV it's, it's feel. Props. Oh, yeah, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. And then so you, what you do is you'll get your card, which I haven't opened any of these up. They're all kind of closed. But you <laughs> roll the die, yeah. and it's got uh, red, blue, yellow, green, and black, which essentially is like Disney animation, Pixar, movies, music, and miscellaneous. Okay. And so on those different ones, you're going to be asked questions. Like, for example, you could be how many boats... Uh, like, in how many movies have boats in Disney animation? Can, can you name two? Right, so you, okay. I, I could name two. Steamboat Willie. Oh, so you don't name yet. Oh. Right, so you get, 
it's a it's portion, right? So Josh is like, oh, I can name three. You're like, I can name four. Okay. I can name five. Like, I can, it would be, you keep going around until someone's done. Until right. so somebody wants. Well, you can bluff to you, right? Yeah. Because if it's wondering, oh, okay, that person's probably going to go for a higher number, you can make it happen. We just played on live stream back at the office, and Lauren, our social media person, she's like, oh, I can do 11. And we're like, okay, like, let's see it. And then she's like, okay, cool. So Moana, uh, Atlantis, um, Frozen, Tarzan, you know, and she just got on this whole bit, uh, <sighs> Robinson, right? And we had a whole debate where we're like, okay, Star Wars. And it's like, okay, it's so an X-Wing is a ship, not a boat. But then Jabba's tail barked as a boat. So you could do that. Right? That's stretching it. That's stretching it. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, then, right. but, but, but you can go into that. Right? And so those, other, those, those are kind of questions. Wait, like, is Pirates of the Caribbean 1 and Pirates of the Caribbean so 2 two different boats? You can't name series, right? So, okay. so you, could, you could do Pirates of the Caribbean. Boom. You got some boats. Good. <laughs> but you can't do 2, 3, and, you know, Edge of the World. And, and like Black that. Pearl. Yeah. All yeah. right. So, but you can't do one, though. And so then it'll be questions. There's over 600 questions in this whole game. What is the process for you guys for getting the trivia questions? So, Elisa uh, wrote a lot of these. Of course, she's so fantastic. Yeah, right? yeah, some Fletch and our internal team, they all worked really hard, and Elisa has a deep Disney knowledge, <laughs> and so it's pretty funny, because we were, we were just by the came by the, the booth yesterday, and uh, we are like, oh, uh, so it's like, geek out, and she's like, oh yeah, and she was just going deep on these things, and you're just like, that's, that's fantastic. <laughs> you know, you really know. So impressive. No, it was just really, and the, the funny thing is like, even, even like, that shows questions because they're vague enough where you got you have to get more than two or three answers for a thing. Okay. Right, and then but you don't want to get them too specific, you know, because you don't want to be, or well, it's only two answers, but you, but you still want general knowledge. Right? Okay. And it, because it's Disney, everyone has a different Disney experience. Okay. Right? Yeah. I, I grew yeah. up on you know the movies you did. I grew up on like a lot of the TV show stuff like Mickey Mouse Club and all of those things. And M-I-C. Then, oh, yeah, right? Yeah. And then what's funny, though, is there's some questions in here where you're like, oh, cool, we can do, like, uh, Johnny Tsunami and Brink in a lot of the Disney animation, or the, 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 the Disney home movies. Okay. Like Export House and things like that. These ones I so, didn't see. You know, see, there's the experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, everyone has their own Disney because there's so much to Disney. go from. And then some of the, some of the ride, like, you can get some parks questions in there. Those would be super interesting. And then there's a whole uh, songs category because the music really, so, like, one of the questions was, uh, can you name two songs that have friend in the title? Okay. Right. Fair. And so... Immediately have one. I'm learned now. I'm not just going to blurt them out. I'm learning yeah, my yeah, lesson. Yeah, yeah, right? And so it's but now I'm going to be thinking for a second one. So, so what do you got? You've got a friend in me. Okay. And then... Uh, oh, now I'm being, what? What? <laughs> yep. Yeah. A friend like, like me. me. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So there's, there's a that whole was bunch, good. right? Yeah. So there, 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 oh, yeah. It was. It, it's funny. Yeah, you deep can go on that one. There's, there's another one where it's go um, Disney movies. Uh, name uh, movies with a dog as the uh, main character. Was all dogs go to heaven, Disney? I think I don't think so. No. But you get Airbud. <laughs> you could do Bolt. Yep. Right. You could, so then you, there's a whole bunch more, right? So you you, you, you could argue that that uh, any Goofy movie would be because uh, he's technically a dog. <sighs> is Goofy really a dog though, or is like Pluto? Because when you have it compared to Pluto. According to Disney, Goofy yes. is a dog. So, so like all Goof Troop. Goof Troop. Well, you couldn't do the, you couldn't do the the whole series. series, but you could do Goof Troop. Goofy movie. Okay. Yeah, or Goof Troop, right? Yeah, yeah. See, that's a different experience too, there, right? Okay. So yeah, so it's, it's it's really neat, and it dives deep. Half the point of this game is the debate. Yeah. Right, because you're like, oh, I don't know, but you're like, maybe. So it's, uh, it gets pretty fun. See how you can spin things. Yeah. How long does it take to play a Geek Out game? Uh, so I would say probably 30, 45 minutes, like if you're, if you're going through it pretty quick. But it's also a party game. Right? Yeah. So it's going to have that social aspect to it. And so we put it on stream the other day, about an hour. Okay. Right? So it was good. Are the various Geek Out games interconnected, uh, intercompatible? So, um... This is the first we've done with Ultra Pro, so this is the USAopoly Ultra Pro collaboration for Geek Out Disney. Okay. Uh, but Ultra Pro has a whole line of other Geek Outs too. They just announced their 80s and 90s versions as well. So I don't think they can be. I haven't actually looked much into that, but okay. I know ours is definitely a standalone version for that. Sounds good. Yeah. Very cool. Good. Also, I, I, I'm in stores now. Very, very cool. And when is uh, Munchkin DuckTales? Already out in stores. 
Look, it's already out. You yeah, can yeah, go right. now and go and get you it. You can get them, make it happen. Are you selling them at the booth? So we are not selling games here at the booth. Okay. But uh, if people want to go to the local game store and find it there, they're going to support do that. them. That sounds very yeah. good. Great. So, Ross, what else do you have coming down the pipeline? Oh, man. So, I think for one more game we have coming out this year, we have Codename Simpsons. Okay. And so that'll be coming out. So, if you know Codenames and The Simpsons, that'll be, that'll be super fun. And besides that, I can't say anything else. I know. I know it is. But 2020 is right around the corner, and uh, we have a lot of exciting things. That'll be uh, happening. Is this the first Geek Out that US Sub has done? That we've done? That's very exciting. It is very exciting. It's exciting to see the Geek Out game come over to US and to see USA Apple start to expand even more into um, various kinds of games. You, know, you guys have kind of been increasing your breadth, I feel like. Yeah, totally. Thank you very much. Yeah, we, we, we've had a really, really fun time working with good partners on doing new games. We just announced that we're going to be doing a partnership with AEG okay. uh, for Smash Up. Okay, okay. So uh, it'll be fun to see which one we do for that. We have a lot to pick from, so who knows what license that'll be. That's so exciting. Um, and then we've got a couple other things where it's like really, like this year we had Talisman, like with Game yep. Workshop, and that was very, very cool as well. Uh, we also, what else did we do this year that was another co-brand? Uh, well, we had the, um, mm, I'm, I'm blanking now, right? Now that well, it's because we're blanking. live, yeah, and that's what happens. Yeah, yeah. But, but I, I, it's like with Steve Jackson, we get to work yeah. with Munchkin, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's we very exciting. We have a lot of cool stuff. I'm very excited to see what comes up and out on t in 2020. Yeah. See what you guys are kind of come out with. Totally. I want to thank you guys with some of the games, too. Like, yes. like, like we have D&D Clue down in the booth, too. Oh, that's neat. It's been super cool. So that, that just came out as well. That's very cool. And so that plays right at the 5th edition. Uh, does it do Avernus? You're in Waterdeep, and uh, somebody has a, uh, a demon has taken over one of your characters and killed them. So you need to figure out. That's rude. Right? <laughs> yeah, so you need to figure out who uh, who is in being impersonated by a demon, what weapon did they use, and then where did they hide the infernal quiz box? That's I love that take on Clue. That's pretty fantastic. Yeah, it's, awesome. it's super cool. It plays right into like the whole where D&D currently is in their own storyline as well. So I have one more question for you, which is going to upset a lot of the U.S. people. Ah. Talk to me about Star Wars. Yes, so we have Star Wars Dark Side Rising, which is a uh, game where it plays uh, as, as the Rising games do. So in this one, you can play as Luke, uh, Leia, Cassian, and uh, there's one more character. I can't remember his name right now. And so uh, you're playing through. Uh, it's got all the characters not all the characters, but it combines characters from uh, Rebels, okay. and from Clone Wars, okay. and from uh, Rogue One, and Episode Four, and they're all under the same art style. I was just going, that was literally going to be my next question, because once you mentioned that there was Clone Wars, and you're talking about Rogue One, like, what did what direction did you go with with the art style for so that? So it's our own art style, right? And so okay. USA Opoly, we have our own branded, not like, it's, it's our own kind of art style. So Captain Marvel had our start earlier this year. And a couple other of our games are done by Rick. He's our internal artist, uh, one, one of the guys on the team. Oh, what a dream and, to be able oh. to reimagine those things in your and own art so style. Cool. So when he was doing Dark Side, I, I, I walked by his desk, and there he is working on the Falcon, or he's working on Kanan from Rebels, or he's, you know, his Han, his Han Solo is super cool. Oh, it's really so, exciting. And that I think it's one of the cool things about that game. It's really just kind of a nice love letter to that, right as the Rebels are fighting against Vader Blood and the Death Star. And so it's kind of having that cool little picture in there. So, and the Vader model looks awesome. Like our sculpting team did a great job on that. So yes, it is only available in the uh, EMEA territories. Uh, EMEA territories. It's not available in the U.S. Uh, but yeah, that's a it's a cool. If you like the Rising games, uh, you can make the effort and out now. That's another really so. great line that you guys have come out with other Rising games. So it's very exciting to see from you know from Thanos to Harry Potter to Star Wars. Um, are there are there plans for? We really do enjoy the Rising engine, and the game is very fun. It'd be cool to see what more we can do with that in the future. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that sounds good. Like All right, Ross. Is there anything else you want to make sure our audience knows? Where can they find the so op booth? If people, so op booth is here. We're at uh, three three eight two two. Uh, here on the floor, you can come by, say hi to me, and get a demo from Chris. We're playing uh, Death Eaters Rising. We're also playing some Dungeon Academy and a couple other games, which is super cool. And then you can always find us on the op dot games. Uh, we have a website there. You can check it all out. We've got a lot of cool stuff going on. Uh, if you're playing our games, tag us on social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, we're also on Twitch. So uh, we play games uh, a couple of times a month. It's you should watch fun. live stream games. And then we have a YouTube channel. It's blowing up with all kinds of cool recorded content, too, for the up plays. 
Very, very cool. Yeah, that's times. Russ, thank you so much for Thanks taking so time to come to hang out with me. I appreciate here. it. Thank you all, and stay tuned for some more great live coverage.